Hello, welcome. I'm Kate Chu, a press flower artist and teacher. I have been making press flower art for more than 25 years. In this presentation, I will explain to you what press flower art is and walk you through the history of the art. I will also talk about the tools and get you started. Let's have fun together. What is press flower art? It utilizes the materials from nature as medium for art, just like watercolor, acrylic, or oil for painters. Like other medium, press flowers can be applied to fine art as well as crafts. It can be applied to a variety of services and take many forms. Let's look at some examples of our press flower art. This is a frame tease, California Dream. This was uh, inspired by the springtime trails in Anaheim Hills. Summer Garden is my uh, imagination of my retirement life, two, three years away from my actual retirement. This has uh, won awards in both international fine art competition and international press flower art competition. Walking in the rain reflected uh, my thoughts during a difficult period of my life. The street scene was inspired by a street down the hill from my home. This piece has won first place in an international press flower art competition. Snow was inspired by my ski trips. Not only we can press flowers and leaves, we can also press fruits and vegetables. This harvest piece is made with uh, real press grapes. It has won two awards in international press flower competitions. This is a bowl of uh, real pressed strawberries. Pressed flowers can be applied to many different surfaces. Here we have a cushion made with uh, real pressed flowers a wind chime and a fan made with pressed flowers. We see here in detail about a fabric bag made with pressed flowers. Pressed flowers can also be made into jewelry. We have briefly viewed some pressed flower art examples. Now I want to talk about the history of pressed flower art. It is commonly recognized that pressed flower art is developed from herbarium. We can trace herbarium to 305 BC in Egypt. Here is an example of uh, what was found in the Egyptian tomb. As time goes by, specimens are being arranged in more artistic way. We start having the beginning of press flower art around the 1500s in Italy. What really brings press flower art into public eyes is Queen Victoria's love of press flowers. This is the Royal Library of Queen Victoria's press flowers from her Diamond Jubilee. Princess Grace Kelly, a native of Philadelphia, loved gardening and press flower art. This is one of her works. In recent years, Pressers all over the world get together online and form the Worldwide Press Flower Guild. Many press flower art teachers also teach local classes. Let's look at some different presses. These are pressers uh, that uh, you can make yourself and would allow good air circulation for flowers to dry faster than the traditional thick books. The top two utilizes air conditioning foam to allow flowers in the press to dry faster. The bottom one utilizes a cardboard for air circulation. You can place uh, these presses in a hot car. Flowers will dry in the day. Be careful not to place the press on the, car, uh, on the dashboard during summer it would result having flower burned in the hot weather. You can also place the press in a dehydrator for fast drying. 
The microwave press utilizes microwave to remove moisture from the flowers in minutes. Desiccant presses can absorb moisture from flowers fast. All three type of presses we have talked so far will give results much better than the traditional book pressing. Different flowers would press better with different press. I personally use the desiccant press the most. Other tools one might need are common things one would find uh, in the house. We need scissors, toothpicks, glue, bowls of uh, silicone tube by GE or white glue, it, tweezers, and a craft knife. As we have discussed earlier, the traditional book pressing will yield unstable results. We use presses that speed up the drying process, hence uh, reduce the chance for flowers to fade. To press, we place the flowers face down or on the sideways. To collect flowers that are flat or with single petals to start with, don't forget to press leaves. Cut the stem off from the base of the mini roses. Leave the swollen part um, about 2 mm or 1 16th of inch intact to prevent uh, petals falling off. This is how to press with a desiccant press. We sandwich flowers with facial tissue paper. The back side of the flower needs a layer of foam. Then we sandwich them with the desiccant boards. We can stack the press up uh, to repeating what we have uh, done before. Finally, we sandwich the entire stack with two hard boards. Tie the press with two straps and uh, apply pressure. Place the content in a plastic bag and tie the opening. Flower should be dried uh, in two to three days. The self-made uh, air press uh, stack is about the same. We use the cardboard instead of a desiccant board. It, make sure the surface of the cardboard is smooth so your flowers come out flat. When flowers and leaves are dried, they are firm. Hold the press flower horizontally so the flower stays flat. When it's dried, um, if it's soft and bends down, then you we still need some time. Uh, it is fine to peek, but make sure do not disturb uh, the press uh, too much before you are sure the flowers and leaves are dried. After flowers are dried, we sort the flowers into small bags. Place a bag of silica gel into the airtight box when you store flowers. One can find silica gel from Michaels in their dried flower uh, section. Follow instructions to activate the gel. Check the silica gel indicator often. Activate when it uh, turns uh, pink. Also, make sure your store box is airtight. Get the ones with the sealing strip on the lid and the secure fastener. This will ensure your press flowers uh, will stay dry and bug free. To attach flowers, use tweezers to pick up the flowers. Apply one small dot on the center back of the flower to hold the flower in place. Do not use too much glue. Try not to pick up uh, flowers with your fingers to avoid damaging petals or getting your sweat uh, onto petals. How do we protect pressed flowers on, on our artwork? Um, it all depends on the project. We can laminate it, apply decoupage glue or resin, or frame it. Now I want to mention that uh, there are three reasons pressed flowers to fade prematurely. They are moisture, UV light, and oxidation. We try to remove these three 
elements uh, to retain beautiful colors of pressed flowers. The best way is the vacuum sealing framing method. Flower would last for 15-20 years without color change. Now we can do a simple project with pressed flowers. We will make a garden sampling bookmark. We get self-adhesive lamination sheet from office supply stores. We also need a piece of a heavy duty cardstock with smooth surface. 110 pounds paper weight is preferred. Cut a piece of a cardstock pa card paper into two by six inches. We will need a hole puncher and some ribbons as well. We glue pressed flowers onto the cardstock and try to arrange them in the way you prefer. I did a garden sampler. I use a black pen to write the name of flowers under each one, date and sign the bookmark. Then I cut a piece of uh, self uh, lamination sheet in about uh, two and a half by six and a half inches. It is easier to work with when the lamination film is uh, slightly larger. Take off the protection paper, place the card paper on top of the lamination sheet, the non-sticking part, for a few seconds to cancel the static. Then apply the self-lamination sheet on top of the bookmark. Use your fingers to apply pressure, starting from the center and then move out to the two sides. In case of air bubble occurs, use a sewing needle to poke a small hole on the edge where the pedal begins. Don't poke the pedal. Then use your fingers to, to squeeze the air out. Trim off uh, excessive uh, lamination film using scissors. The hole on the top using a hole puncher Thread the ribbon to finish. This concludes my presentation. Thank you. Have fun gardening and pressing flowers.